Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're getting a bunch of big logs today in this video. As you guys can see, this is what we're loading up, all this kind of stuff. Still got a couple more trips to go. You guys seen we already started the work though. Be sure to hit subscribe. Hey guys, diving right in. It's kind of jumping ahead here a little, but that's uh, in the orange. That's my brother-in-law, Nick, giving me a hand, moving some big logs we already picked up. Now, I got all these logs from a guy. He had a huge pine taken down and said, man, you can have them, just come and get them. So. Over the course of two days, we're able to get several truckloads out, and uh, you know that's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing in this video. As you guys can see, we got that lift mounted in the bed of my truck. I had a custom mount made so that lift right there could sit down inside and be very stable. Now the winches that come on that aren't always reliable. Sometimes they're junk, and the one you're looking at right there is a pile of crap. We had to actually swap it out before this whole job was done. So be careful. If those things let loose. These logs are heavy. You could break an arm, break a leg, could even kill somebody. So, you know, yeah, I move logs by myself sometimes, but when I can get help, I take it. If you choose to move logs like this, just, you know, be careful. Be as careful as you can. This work isn't easy, you know, so it was kind of nice. The landowner came over with his four-wheeler and said, hey, guys, I'll drag the logs out for you, get them close to the truck. I mean, it was a huge help. It, it probably saved us a couple hours all in all moving, you know. Uh, a lot of times we we're just rolling them with the PV, so being able to drag them with a four-wheeler, that was just, that was a massive help getting this job done and getting all these logs loaded up and hauled away. As you guys can see, just having a little fun with that log, but that thing is massive, easily three feet or a little bit bigger across. It was just, it's huge. So there's four logs that size. We're gonna end up coming back with a bigger bar probably in the spring we're gonna have to quarter them so cut them uh from one end to the other probably several cuts and just just cut them into big quarters and we'll you know load them up and haul them away my lift can't lift those logs as they are they're just way way too big and i can't handle them like that i just you know to be able to work them and turn them into something and deliver them they're just they're too big so we'll cut them down we'll make them into usable pieces and uh, we'll get them out of here and turn them into something cool you know, I'll admit, I enjoy this time right here. I thoroughly enjoy this kind of work and this kind of time. It's hard work. It's not easy. Um, it's nice that my brother-in-law, Nick, doesn't mind it either. Doesn't mind giving me a hand, hanging out. You know, the whole time we're, we're chatting and we're paying attention and just, you know, we're enjoying each other's company doing this stuff. I want you guys to keep in mind, you know, as we do these things, you see us moving these massive logs. We are both constantly paying attention and being aware of our surroundings and safety. Um, I know there's a couple angles here where it looks like he's in a bad uh, spot or in a precarious situation, but he's not. He's always out of the way, never under the log, uh, always stepped back. If you guys decided to you know, do something like this or create a setup like this to move logs for yourself, safety is key. You can never count on that lift doing what it should. Uh, you just you just can't those winches on the top that hand crank they give out they break they rip off the cable snaps the whole thing could rip out of the floor of my truck it just there's a lot of danger so you keep those things in mind and you know you're just constantly trying to uh be safe and keep whoever's helping you safe as well if, uh, if you guys made it this far, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe, guys. The channel's grown and it's only grown because you guys are watching and subscribing. I seriously do appreciate it. Make sure all your uh, notifications are on for the channel so you guys don't miss future uploads. You hit that bell, you hit all, and you won't miss any of my future uploads as well. Also, check out the store tab as I've got some merch on there. We'll be working on new merch in the future. That is merchandise to help support the channel. And a big shout out to all my members. I really appreciate all you guys and gals that, uh, well, support the channel financially with your monthly contribution, whether it's buying me a coffee or you're all in. I really, really do appreciate that. It means a lot. It's humbling that anybody even joins. And uh, you guys are awesome. You really will. You really, really are. This year, we will see some carvings out of these logs that we're unloading. So... You know, stick around and uh, don't miss it, guys. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. We were able to get all these logs between yesterday and today. It would have been a one-day job, 
but the winch blew out so we had to upgrade and get a new one mounted on there we just uh, finished this up ended up being five loads was it five loads nick five loads also want to thank my brother-in-law nick giving me a hand loading these up dropping them off today and yesterday this is a big help so this is going to hopefully get me through the winter and then some carbon we got a lot of wood here some of these like almost two feet across and that location still got logs that are about three feet across but i'm gonna have to split them in order to move them so that'll be something for the future if you guys haven't already give the video a thumbs up hit subscribe leave me a comment and uh check out some videos popping up i'll see you guys later